I've got red all over my face. Bye -bye. <laughs> Dribbles. <laughs> Hi, I'm Selen Kiazm. Uh, I have a restaurant in London called Oklava, where I cook a modern interpretation of Turkish food. Today I'm going to be cooking my chilli rice cauliflower with a red onion um, and parsley salad and sumac dressing. First thing we're going to do is make the rub. Hot and mild version of pepper paste. Looks exactly like tomato paste. They're just sun-dried peppers um, from the southeastern part of Turkey. So we just mix that up with a little bit of olive oil. Take the cauliflower. And what we want to do is cut it into nice big wedges or steaks and we're going to roast it whole like that so you get a kind of nice meaty texture. So cut the wedge and then leaving the stalk on but we just want to kind of remove enough so it still just holds together. So take some of the rub and just smear it all over getting into all of the cracks as well. We want it to obviously stick onto it, give it a nice coating and also provides the moisture needed to kind of almost steam it a little bit. This recipe came about a couple of years before I actually opened up Oklava. Um, I was on a trip to Istanbul and I went to this amazing market and there was this old guy who produced not very many things but one of them was this pepper paste and I bought some of it uh, back to London and one night kind of classic scenario I had nothing to cook except for I had a cauliflower in my fridge some parsley and this pepper paste and so that was how this dish was born just out of a necessity to eat something one evening and then I prepared it and thought oh actually that's quite good. So cauliflower is all rubbed up I'm going to pop those into the oven uh, so the rock box is on about 350 um, and it's just going to slowly roast there for about 10 to 15 minutes so we'll check what it's what it's doing in a little while. So next up we're gonna just slice up this red onion on the mandolin. You can also do it by hand. I uh, can already hear that cauliflower crackling, which is great. Drop it into some ice water, um, just perks it up and kind of takes away the, the harshness of the onion flavor as well. So we just want to leave those to soak for about 10 minutes. We've got some pistachios that have been lightly roasted. So we're just going to chop those up. So the cauliflower is getting a really nice char on there now. And so we're just going to flip it over so the other sides can get a char as well. Don't be scared of also this nice char that's building on there because that's another flavour profile and that's exactly what we want. It's a sumac and garlic dressing. It's a little berry that grows on trees. It's a very sharp sort of lemony flavour. Really amazing colour. Lemon juice. I'm just going to grate a garlic clove into that as well. And I'll put some salt in there. About one part lemon juice and about four parts of um, olive oil. Final little step here is just to pick some parsley. So it's the main herb and of Cypria and Turkish cookery. Just gonna pop this parsley into a bit of ice water as well. Again, just makes it nice and crisp. This cauliflower is looking great. I know it looks like it's burnt, but it's not. It's exactly where we want it to be. And what you want to do is take a skewer or a little small paring knife and kind of just poke the, the cauliflower. And if it comes out as it is, and kind of one go without sticking into the cauliflower, then we're at a good place. I think as we know, cauliflowers are something that people aren't really that fond of or doesn't really inspire confidence in people. So I'd say with this dish, you know, at the restaurant, people really have it and just think that they're having a side dish and often um, will go away saying that it was the best thing that they ate. So hence why it's been on the menu since day one and will never come off. You want to take a nice wedge of it then I like to give it a little extra mold and salt, some sumac, nice pile of this parsley, the red onion. And when you want to be generous with the dressing, put it all over the salad and the cauliflower and let it kind of pull onto the bottom of the plate as well. Then finish off with a generous dose of these lovely toast pistachios and a final flourish of some sumac. So this is my uh, chili roast cauliflower. Um, which I absolutely adore and happens to also be vegan, which is ideal. And I'm going to put it out there that it's probably the best vegan dish that you'll ever eat. Okay. <laughs> mm.
I'd be pretty happy if I got that. Now I have nothing to do, so <laughs> <laughs> open to any questions. Going live to any questions. <laughs>